There you are. I'm Gazinski. This is Rubits and Dacker, and you are in for a treat. In tonight's show, the spotlight is on Spellcrow. Coming right up. Hey up and welcome, thanks for popping around. Uh, this week we're going to have a look at what has arrived at Gar's house. Uh, two different things, two for the price of one in this show. Um, but before we do that we're going to have a quick look at the community and some amazing things in the community as we always do. Very briefly and then we'll move on with the uh, unboxings and what have you. So first up this week, Nick Beer. Idik Beer, 40k Necrons and more. Almost at 20,000 subs. Amazing achievement by Nick. One of the reasons I'm doing this myself, doing these videos, is because of Nick and all the help he's given me to get going. Um, amazing achievement. Nick's doing an amazing giveaway. He's giving away an Indomitus box set as part of his 20,000 subscriber uh, celebration. So check that out. Uh, six plus Steve O's heartfelt live stream the other night. Uh, he felt the need to apologise to his patrons and viewers for his lack of content lately. He has been suffering from depression and uh, uh, ill health and being locked up in his own house for so long hasn't helped. So have a look at that. Give Steve O your support. Go and give him a bit of love on Facebook and what have you. Um, I think we cheered him up the other night by the end of the live stream. He was. Uh, a lot more upbeat, uh, which leads me on to the four war bosses, which I watched last night. Uh, the monthly show, the four war bosses of the apocalypse. Six plus Stevo, Dreadwar Gaming, Scarnier from Plastic Crack Gaming, and Dim Reaper from the Hobby Geek. Uh, an amazing live show. Um, well, it wasn't live; it was recorded, but they were in the chat live. Um, and. Amazing achievement by him all really because we were all under the weather one way or another and still managed to put a great show out. There was some amazing entertainment in chat. We had a really good night. And I was just going to go to bed and I realised that uh, Methos and Freak from Frost and Fist had done their response video uh, to my nominating them in the Chilling War Gamers, Spud of Chilling War Gamers put out the I'm a War Gamer challenge. So, I'd urge you all to go and check out all these I Am A Wargamer challenges. There's some lovely guys out there in the community. Some of it might, might not be orky, or it might not even be 40k related, but these guys are just the same as me. They're just trying to put stuff out there for your viewing pleasure. Uh, so go and have a look at these videos. Check out the links, give them all a sub, even if it's not your cup of tea, give them a sub, because it all helps these little guys grow. Uh, it can only be good for the community. So we're all helping each other grow all together even if we don't watch them that often <laughs> so please go and check all that out uh, thanks to Spud for doing this in the first place for setting it off uh, Methos and Freak absolutely amazingly entertaining and amusing show that they put on uh, just go and watch it, it, it it's an, they're an amazing pair of guys lovely fellas and I was giggling all the way through there such a story to tell you about how they got into the game and everything so, uh, also, thanks to uh, Flint and Essex boys and George, uh, G the Hyper Sapien, for doing their response videos. Both great videos, go and check those out as well. And I spent a few nights last week, there was nothing else on. Um, and I actually, and it wasn't because there was nothing else on, uh, I was looking for something to listen to while I was hobbying. And Kev's Hobby Corner, who is associated with Chilling War Gamers. He was doing his uh, Indomitus box set assembly. Uh, the road to Indomitus, it was actually before he got his Indomitus. I think he was putting uh, another box set together. Met some lovely guys in chat. Uh, he's a really nice lad. I've just had such a good week hobbying along and listening to him and making new friends. Uh, so go and check Kev's hob The Hobby Corner out. And I wanted to give him a shout because he's such a nice lad. Uh, in my last video I said if anybody could tell me what the eight figure number was that was written on my cutting pad, uh, I'd give him a shout. Well the only person who hazarded a guess was uh, Scott of Bigfoot Hobbies. 
who quite rightly said it's something to do with Ford engine. It's actually the eight cylinder firing order for a Ford V8 motor. So well done, Scott. Go and check Scott's channel out, Bigfoot Hobbies. We could do with your support, he's only got a few subs at the moment. Um, I did have, I'm a little bit hard of hearing and I do rely on lip reading a lot when I'm listening to people and unfortunately Scott's video was a little bit out of sync and the sound wasn't that brilliant, especially for me. So I couldn't hear what he was saying so I would love Scott to uh, do a response video again if he could and try and get the quality a little bit better because I would really love to hear what he's saying and I do struggle greatly, uh, I do need my headphones for a lot but I do rely on lip reading as well a little bit. So check out Scott, Bigfoot Hobbies, drop him a sub, lovely lad, he just wants to show you what he's got like I do, you know, what he does. Um, also in this show, Mini of the Week, well three Minis of the Week actually because I forgot one week, week before last or show before last. Uh, and it was a tie, but I forgot to stick it in. And it was a tie between William Curtis Coombs and my friend Wayne Humber, both friends from over the pond there, who both did these lovely knobs with massive axes and hammers. I couldn't split the pair, they're both friends of each other, they're both friends of mine, so I put them both in. Uh, they were the ones I missed out from the show before last. And this fantastic one, um, it caught my eye straight away because of the skin tones and everything. It's by Emily Kate Wakefield and it's one of RTLW's Iron Bosses. And it's a great rendition. The head just popped out, caught my eye, made me remember it. So here it is, Mini of the Week by me for this show. And Wayne and William joint winners for me show before last so there you go for minis of the week so now we're going to just get straight into um, the box opening what has arrived at Gar's house coming right up right these arrived this week it's all but one of the full range of the 35 milliliter Vallejo model washes uh, the black one was out of stock, there's 17 out of the 18 in the set here. Uh, you can't really call it a set because you can't buy a set of these anyway. You've got to buy them individually. I got these from Model Display Products in, over in uh, the west of the UK, uh, Newport I believe. Uh, they have a wide range of modelling accessories, paints, equipment, all that sort of thing. Check them out. Uh, I just wanted to show you these. I will do a full review of them in a future episode and I'll compare them to the other ranges of washes that I've got. But for the time being I just wanted to show you them because they just arrived at Gar's house this week. But now we'll get on to the main event. What arrived at Gar's house today, unexpectedly and really quickly. My Spellcrow order coming right up. And here it is, my little package. And this. There's a website for Spellcrow, easy to find, got some great stuff in there, please go and check them out, they are a good company and these companies need to be kept afloat because they're doing it for us. So that's the website and here's the package, have a look. I have took the invoice out already, this is, here. This is what I got. Basically, a hundred orchid heads. Uh, as we speak now, it's Saturday afternoon, 1st of August. I ordered these on the 23rd of July. On the 24th, Spellcrow kindly informed me that they didn't have them all in the stock and they would need to cast up fresh some of the items that I'd ordered and promised to have it shipped by the 27th, which they did and it arrived today. So that's a week from ordering to arriving and they had to cast some of them for me as well so I think that's brilliant service. I actually got all together, I'll read the list. Ten of each it was. You get five different types, five different heads, 
uh, times two. So you get five pairs really. Ten in a bag. I got some bulky free booters, some bulky cyber heads, some blitzkrieg heads, some blitzkrieg heads in goggles, some bulky heads, some free booters heads version one, orc slayers heads, standard heads version two, standard heads version three, and some yelling heads. So a hundred heads in all. And we'll have a look. First thing I noticed when I opened the box, a 10% off your next purchase voucher. And that's valid until the 15th of October. So Spellcro have kindly given you 10 weeks to take advantage of this voucher, which is amazing. You normally get to end at month. So 10 weeks I've got to take advantage of that, and 10% is not to be sniffed at. So that's a very nice thing, that's a, a plus in Spellcrow's direction. Uh, there's a little bit of blurb here about a game they do, a fantasy game. Umbra Turris. Some of the models that they make. Some of the little characters, some of the goblin players. Some of the gobble players might be interested in some of these. They've got some lovely little goblin characters. Uh, that might be of interest to some of you players, like George. I know George loves his gobbos. This is a little advert for their game that came with it, a little fantasy game. Apparently these are little skirmish games, I did a bit of research. Uh, they last anywhere from about 15-20 minutes up to an hour and a half. And you play them on a 700mm by 700mm board. Next thing I noticed, my eyes landed straight on it being a Yorkshireman. Freebies! Freebies! So before we get a look at the order, I'm going to tip these out and we'll see what they've got. Got camera between me and my hands, can't see what I'm doing. Right, let's have a look what we've got. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. These are free. There you go. Two free booter or torsos. Very nice. Lovely casting. Excuse my mucky hand there, I've just got in from work and I couldn't wait to open this. First freebie. These are, I recognise these, I didn't order any of these, but these are the, a free pair of Green Beret Orc heads. They're knob size. Very nice too. A pair of Russian the furry hats on. Russian winter orcs. Great for a bit of variety. Could have looted it off an Imperial soldier. Some more heads here I noticed. Let's have a look at these. Commandos. With the beanies on. Come on, focus up. Focusing on my thumb, I think. Try it that way. Come on, there you go, nearly. There we go. There's a bit of resin on his face there, I'll soon get that off. Great for hot commandos. Two more of the Russian type. Come on. Focusing on my hand. There you go. I think these will fit in quite nicely mixed in with the GW ones. What else we got? Another pair of heads. Well that's six pairs of heads. These are £6.50 for a packet of 10, two sets of five, like I said. They're free booter ones, very nice. They'll go with my flash gits. 
Ah, another, another pair. There are Tommies with a World War I English Tommy helmet on. Looks almost human, the one on the right. <laughs> Got here. A pair of legs for an orc pirate, freebooter, peg leg. Lovely little details. Bit of flash underneath, not too bad. All these bits are compatible with GW Art Boys and Knobs. Ah, this is from one of the other ranges. It's some sort of Chaos Space Marine Torso. Trophies. More Chaos Space Marine type bits. Good detail. Nice trophies. Some shrooms. Oh, can't beat a bit of fungi. That's on the floor, I'll find it later. I think this is a... Nurgle Space Marine torso with the guts hanging out. Don't know what I'd use that for. Couple of little backpacks. They'd be good for the commandos. Another pair of shoulder pads. Nurgle shoulder shoulder pads. Might give them away to some deserving Nurgle player. Some more shrooms, little ones. Dreaded like them. I think that's a Mohawk or a crest of some sort. Ah uh, yeah, like a lizardy helmet crest. A little Scorcher, that's a Nurgly one as well, that looks a bit, or Chaos one. And finally, a Scaly Cloak. For Salamanders, I believe. And all them are free, that's before we get to my order. So I'll just leave them to one side, and we'll have a look at my heads. Here's how they come. Special little bag each. Warning about kids, not for kids. You get two sprues the same. Five heads on each sprue. These are the Blitzkrieg ones. Excuse me knocking the camera, I'll just take one of these out. There's only ten altogether, I've got a hundred. Ten bags. Six pound fifty each, sixty-five quid for the whole order. Free European shipping for orders over 50 quid. Oh, they're good. An album for lads, they'd be good for uh, Storm Boys. I've already got some German helmeted, German helmeted orcs that I customised myself. That's the first one. Let's throw them over there as I get to them. Pick them up after. Should have opened all the bags first, but I wanted to see them at the same time as you, lads and lassies. These are the Blitzkrieg ones with goggles. Similar to the other ones, but these have all got goggles. Yeah, they're making great storm boys, these. I'll just quickly go through them. You can always come back and pause, have a good look at them. I'll show you the back of one as well. They're all fully compatible with Ark Boys. That one's got one dropped off, so it's loose in the bag. I'll get you the better one. I 
think that's bulky arcs or knobs. Just nice to have a variety. Don't like arc twins. Have a look at this one. I'm seeing these for the first time so I knew what was coming. These are Art Boys version 3. Much more character than the GW one. The new uh, 3D printed ones are all a bit angular for me. A bit Crichton. For those Red Dwarf fans. These are the bulky Orc Cybers. Cyber Orcs. Great for mech. Things like that. Have a look at the back. Uh, they'll fit on any any knob or arc body. Oh, I'm liking these. Really nice. They are resin. They will need a wash. They don't feel too bad actually but they will have releasing agent on them. They're yelling, yelling arcs, I think. That yeah, lovely casting. Lots of character. I've got some uh, more things coming. Some things from Far Fun Minis. We'll have a look at them when they get here. More bulky yorks. I think that means knobs. <laughs> That's this one. Yeah. Hmm. You might be able to see in there. You see that? Looks like condensation on the inside of the packet. You see that? That's a releasing agent. Just goes to show you do need to wash them. Paint much stick to that. I said, uh, mind betting that these were some of the ones they had to cast for my order. Yeah, you can't beat them, can you? They've got Zinsky squigs on the red. I'm going to stick these in my bikers, I think. Oh, they're splendid. I love them, Mohawk. Yeah, fabulous then. Last two, and then we'll have to go and tidy up. <laughs> oh, these are great. I hope you are enjoying this as much as I am. Ah, freebooter orcs. The pirate. These are just your standard orcs. Oh, there might be bulky ones, but like knobs. And last but not least, I couldn't resist these. These would be great for flash gits. Wow, look at the detail on them. I love that rail hat. Wow. He's got a pipe at the end at this right hand end. Fantastic character. Well, that's what's arrived at Gar's house this week. I hope you've enjoyed that. I'll just come back to you and tell you what we're going to do in the next show. Coming right up. Right, I'm going to give Spellcrow 10 out of 10. Top quality service, top quality products. Now I've had all of them in my hands. I would recommend their stuff to anybody. So please go and check them out. I'll leave links in the description below for everything. Um, I think I speak for everyone when I say to Steve-O, your health's more important than YouTube, mate. You look after yourself, look after your family, get yourself right. We ain't going anywhere. Look after yourself, get yourself right first. Um, the Vallejo washes, I'll be doing a review of them in a future show. 
Uh, I'll do a comparison between those, their other washes and the other ranges of washes that I've got, the Citadel ones, Army Painter, uh, Secret Weapon, we'll try them all out, we'll give them all a comparison. Uh, next week, yeah, next week, Duff Guts, the, mech, the big mech, is going to loot a Bane Blade, for your viewing pleasure. So, newest addition to the Wall of Mark, Spellcrow, excellent products, excellent service. And that just about wraps it up for this week. So thank you all for subbing, thank you all for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all that business. Uh, take care till next time. I'm Gazinski, you've been watching Ribbit and Dakia. Bye for now.